A couple of other things that we want to talk about concerning master pages. Uh, one of them is uh, we may very well have situations where we want to have more than one master. What I mean by that, let's say we have a, a document and of course uh, uh, we have all the pages uh, that are the text and so that might have one sort of a look and set up and so we have our master A for that. And then maybe it has five chapter pages throughout the document and the chapter uh, is set up differently and looks differently and has the chapter page has a big number and has something that's different than the regular pages of the document. So we might very well have uh, an, another master set up just for that and so I just wanted to point out that once again we can go up here to our little options button and we can say let's have a new master a new master and then uh, it'll be called automatically Master B. We can give it a fancier name if we like. And then we say OK. And now you have the Master A, and that can be applied to any of our pages. Or we could apply the setup and the, the look that we have uh, for the B Master to any of our pages and we can just drag it down and notice what's going to happen the A in the little corner of the page changes to a B to show us that the B master has now been applied to this page and the others have master A okay the next thing we want to talk about is auto page numbering documents of course um, have page numbers throughout them and once again instead of doing that individually on every page of the document what we want to do is we want to add page numbering automatic page numbering and we put that on the master page and then automatically we'll have page numbers on every page of the document so the first thing I'm going to do and uh, we'll cover this in a little bit more detail uh, the next uh, video is I'm going to create again I'm going to the master page and make sure that's where I am and then I am going to create a text box a text box I'm going to make it kind of large uh, in this case so that we can see it very easily and then it's blinking and ready to accept text and um, what we do then is go up under type it's sort of hidden and I actually don't think they've done a good job on this it um, needs to be in a more obvious place and we go up under type in the main menu we slide down to insert special character and then what we want to do is uh, slide over to markers markers and then it says current page number so I click that and because uh, we are on the master a that's what actually is there not a number for the page but the letter a now I need to add that to the other uh, page on the other side and I can either create a new text box and uh, do it again or in this case I'm going to use the shortcut to duplicate this one and um, just say uh, option click shift and I duplicate it over to the other page and uh, here we are and then also I'm also going to change the alignment to be flush right okay and so when we look at it on the master of course what we see is this letter A okay but when I go and I look at the individual pages of my document lo and behold look at what I have it actually says uh, page 4 or uh, page 5 or whatever page I've gone to that A is now an actual page 
number. And that is going to take place throughout the document. It's a great little feature and uh, one of the important other elements that we use in setting up documents. Another thing that I want to mention is that quite often we uh, of course don't don't want the page number to be on the first page or even on the second page but in fact we want page one to start on what is actually page three of the document the first page um, uh, of the document which is on the right side and we always always have the odd numbered pages on the right hand page and the even numbered pages are always on the left hand page so um, that's a universal standard so I'm gonna go to page 3 and of course you can see it says page 3 but I want that to actually start as page 1 and so I can go to my little options bar here okay and I say numbering and section options numbering and section options and I will go right here and I will click and say start page numbering on this page as number one and so I say okay and now look at what has happened now page three actually is page one and then what I need to do is um, go back to what actually was the original page one and remove this I'll go to override master page items and I select and delete the page box there and now when I actually go to what is page three of the document it starts numbering at page two and that's how you do that so again what you do is you go to the page that you actually want uh, a particular page number uh, to start in this case page one and then we go to our little options bar and we say go to numbering and section options we click on the start page numbering one and because we're activated on page three it says it t it's going to tell the computer to start page one numbering on page three so we said okay and then we went back and we removed the auto page number and just the the page numbering little box from the previous couple of pages and we clicked on the page um, and we said override because when we put things on master pages they are locked on all the individual pages of the document unless we go to that particular page where we want to change the master information and we say override it that unlocks it and then we are in fact able to remove it